net surface uh, radiation balance. So in general we will use this framework from this uh, Sibal manual which I uploaded. Uh, you can find it in a manual. So uh, as you may see here, uh, so this is a general formula for net radiation flux called model F09. So uh, this is 1 minus surface albedo multiplied to incident short wave plus uh, incident long wave minus uh, uh, emitted long wave radiation or from this uh, land from Earth's surface and this is the incident long wave multiplied to 1 minus uh, surface emissivity. Uh, so uh, let's start from this. Uh, so in order to compute just one albedo, we need to compute spectral radiance, model F01, and from, for each band. And we, from each uh, band, uh, from each spectral radiance, we will compute reflectivity, model uh, F02, for each band as well. Then from uh, uh, reflectivity, we will compute this uh, top of the atmosphere albedo, model F03. And then we will, from top of the atmosphere albedo, we will compute surface albedo, model F04. So as you might see here, uh, that just to compute albedo, surface albedo, we need to go to four, through four steps. Um, but this will be uh, the most important one because uh, this part will be also used for incoming computing incoming shortwave radiation here and then also part of them will be used also to uh, compute outgoing long wave radiation but prior to that we need to compute uh, uh, vegetation indexes uh, ndvi savvy leaf array index model f05 and from this uh, vegetation indexes we will compute surface emissivities for narrow band and long band, model F03, and from this surface emissivities, we will also need uh, to compute uh, surface temperature, and both of them we will need to compute uh, this outgoing long wave radiation. And the last part is incoming long wave radiation, which will be computed also using the uh, its own formula. So uh, spectral radiance, uh, so uh, I will not point to Landsat 5 because we don't need it. But uh, if you will use old images, uh, old images, you will uh, need to use this formula for Landsat 5s. But this uh, course is model for Landsat 8. So uh, for uh, in order to compute spectral radiance for each band, we need uh, to compute uh, multiply gain to digital number of each pixel and add a bias. So uh, this form, uh, this uh, gain and biases uh, are contained in header files or metadata of each image. So reflectivity. So uh, reflectivity is computed multiplying spectral radiance of each band to P and divided into uh, mean solar atmospheric irradiance of the band and multiplied for the cosinus of cosine of solar incident angle from nadir and uh, multiplied also to the inverse square relative earth sun distance so uh, this is the solar exoatmospheric irradiances uh, for each band of landsat 8 you can find it through this link so uh, this is for blue for instance 2000 for green uh, 1820 etc sphere 2 etc so each each uh, satellite image and each band has its own solar exoatmospheric radiance which is constant cosinus of angle is computed using the header file data or metadata on sun elevation angle where this is angle 90 minus sun elevation and sun elevation also is uh, just uh, each uh, image uh, uh, at each time uh, has its own sun elevation where it, uh, the footage was taken. So this is a, a d distance between Earth and Sun on the day of a footage. So this is the day of the year, which is also uh, can, uh, written in metadata. And uh, this is uh, dimensionless mostly, um, always uh, dimensionless and varies from uh, 0 0.97 to 0 1. Uh, uh, three. 
top of the atmosphere albedo. So top of the atmosphere albedo is com computed summing this uh, reflectivity, uh, which is computed in step two and is and uh, this one uh, weighting coefficient for each band, which is computed as follows. So we divide solar exoatmospheric irradiance of uh, each band to sum of solar exoatmospheric irradiances of all bands. So this will be a percentage which and it's multiplied to this uh, reflectivity. This is the top of the atmosphere. So surface albedo is just uh, we use top, top of the atmosphere minus path radiance divided into the atmospheric transmissivity in square. So path radiance is the average portion of the incoming solar radiation across all bands that is backscattered to the satellite before it reaches the Earth's surface and uh, atmospheric transmissivity is in square. So values for path radiance uh, range from 0 0.025 and 0 0.04 uh, and for Sibal it is recommended to take zero, something be between middle 0 0.03 based on Bastiansen. So uh, atmospheric transmissivity is com uh, computed using this formula. So uh, let's define what is atmospheric transmissivity actually means. Uh, so it is defined as a fraction of incident radiation that is transmitted by the atmosphere and it represents the effects of absorp absorption and reflection occurring within the atmosphere. This effect occurs for both incoming and outgoing radiation and thus squared in the previous equation. Uh, uh, so that is the elevation above sea level and elevation should best represent the area of interest such as the elevation of the relevant weather station. Incoming shortwave radiation. So incoming shortwave radiation is uh, direct and diffuse solar radiation flux that actually reaches the Earth's surface and it's computed in watt per square meter. So it's uh, computed using this formula. Uh, so uh, this is a solar constant, uh, 1,367 watts per square meter. So cosinus of uh, the, uh, the solar incident angle uh, will be computed in the previous part. Uh, so inverse squared relative earth sun distance also will, uh, will be computed in previous part as well, as well as the atmospheric transmissivity. So see that the first part is the most important because it will help us to uh, solve the second uh, part uh, incoming shortwave radiation. So outgoing long wave radiation. So uh, the outgoing long wave radiation is a thermal radiation flux uh, emitted from the Earth's surface to the atmosphere. Uh, so uh, we need uh, three vegetation indices uh, to compute uh, outgoing long wave radiation, as you remember from this framework uh, from the model, which I showed on the second slide. So uh, first is NDVI. The most widely used vegetation index, uh, index which is computed uh, near infrared minus red divided uh, near infrared plus red. So SAVI uh, soil adjusted vegetation index uh, is also very close to near infrared but it di di uh, differs in one value uh, L which ranges from 0 to 1 but mostly uh, it is recommended to take 0 0.5 so if it's 0 it doesn't uh, differ from the near NDVI index, but it's uh, as far as it's adjusted to soil, uh, we take L to as 0 0.5. But if your areas are green or tropical, etc., or it's uh, very full of bio vegetation biomass, it it's recommended to take 0 for L. And leaf array index is computed using this uh, soil adjusted vegetation index. So surface emissivity is the ratio of the thermal energy radiated by the surface to the thermal energy radiated by a black body at the same temperature. Two surface emissivities are used in Sebal. The first is an emissivity representing surface behavior for thermal emission in the relatively narrow band 10 of Landsat 8, 10.6 to the, so, so this band, expressed as uh, 
emissivity in narrow band. The second is an emissivity representing surface behavior for thermal emission in the broad thermal spectrum, 6 to 14, expressed as uh, um, this ba um, narrow band, uh, so long band. Uh, so narrow band is used in calculation of surface temperature and uh, long band is used later on calculate total long wave radiation emission uh, from the surface. So uh, these are the formulas are computed in model F06 uh, using the following empirical equation where if the NDVI is bigger than zero uh, so we use uh, so there are for a narrow band use this formula for a leaf array index smaller than three and for a long band used this formula also for leaf array index uh, less than three and if leaf array index is uh, equals to three or higher than three then we just assign these values uh, close to one 0 0.98 for both uh, emissivities but for water or snow, uh, so where the NDVI is smaller than uh, zero, we use filters in model to set the values uh, for uh, emissivities. Uh, for water, uh, uh, less than NDVI is smaller than zero, and albedo is uh, smaller than 0 0.47. Uh, narrow band equals to 0 0.99 and uh, long band equals to 0 0.985. For snow, uh, the albedo is higher than 0 0.47 and we will assign uh, these values. The correct thermal radiance from the surface is calculated following this uh, uh, Wukelich uh, formula. So uh, where L Six in our case, L10 is the spectral radiance for band 10, Landsat 8, from model F01. So it's measured in this uh, in this expression. Units uh, RP is the path radiance uh, in the this band, which is L band 10. Uh, also measured in this units, our sky is narrow band downward uh, thermal radiation for a clear sky and is a tnb is narrow band transmissivity of air for this uh, ba uh, band electromagnetic uh, range units for rcr watts per square meter also oh, this this units but uh, this is also easily computed because uh, many uh, values are mm -hmm. Not are known mostly uh, can be used uh, through this uh, mod chan. So values for RP and TNB requires use of an atmospheric radiation transfer simulation model, so such as mod chan and ra radio zone profiles re representing the image and date. So in the absence of va these values uh, for these terms, they can be ignored by setting RP to zero and uh, TNB to one. And the Earth sky term can also be ignored by uh, setting to uh, zero. So we may see here, uh, this, this is zero, uh, this is zero, and this is one. This converts RC into an unco uh, uncorrected radiance. So we leave left here only uh, band 10. So this is a formula for uh, Landsat 5. But we, as far, far as we use uh, Landsat 8, we will uh, use the, uh, this uh, spectral radiance for band 10. Fortunately, the effects of the three parameters on RC are largely self-canceling. However, the result of no correlation to band 10 Spectral radiance of band 10 will be a general underestimation of surface temperature by about 5 degrees for warmer portions of the image. Errors uh, may be larger for mid-range uh, evapotranspiration values, but generally less than a few percent. Uh, so surface te temperature uh, for model F07. So it's used to uh, computing this formula. Uh, it's computed through this formula. And so K2, which is a constant for Landsat 8, uh, it's uh, 1,321. 
divided uh, this narrow band emissivity multiplied to K1 for Landsat is this value 774.89. So RC will we compute we will compute in the previous uh, step and plus one. So uh, fortunately uh, we computed this one and this one and these are the constants so it also can be easily computed. So uh, uh, the outgoing uh, long wave radiation, uh, so computed using this formula, broadband surface emission dim dimensions, uh, so this is a Stefan Boltzmann equation, and Ts is the surface temperature. So uh, incoming uh, long wave radiation, so this is a surface uh, emission, uh, emission of uh, long wave radiation from this land surface and this is incoming long wave radiation. The incoming long wave radiation is a downward thermal radiation flux from the atmosphere is computed using the Stefan Boltzmann equation. So this this formula. Uh, so very close to the previous one but there are some differences as this one is the atmospheric emissivity dimensionless which will become computed differently from this uh, previous emissions emissivities so Stefan Boltzmann equation is the same constant and uh, this temperature is the near surface air temperature which is which will be equal to uh, temperature of a cold and anchor pixel uh, 